Yeah, Project Raw for us as it's been communicated to the teams is about aligning people within the organisation to the skill sets um, that are going to facilitate the goals and the growth agenda that has been communicated by our leadership team. So clearly Michael Sardi and the guys are wanting to grow our business. I think corporate banking moving into the raw model is a definitely a positive step for corporate banking. By splitting people's roles and responsibilities, uh, we can all play to our strengths and help to achieve that goal. I think uh, the new model will facilitate greater communication and collaboration with amongst the teams. There's going to be um, a heightened sense of, of collaboration because this, this is the nature of how we've been operating. We've all been responsible for both the functions that RAW is now separated into and I think for RAW to really work we're going to have to um, collaborate and work more as a team and that's going to come down to every individual in the separate uh, three areas, the client services, the credit management, the relationship management, really working together. Yeah, I have two young children at the moment so I've got to juggle and I work full time. Um, Credit, I enjoy it, it comes naturally to me, so it's more less stressful than a current hybrid role. But looking long term, it's a model that um, I can change and jump into origination because I also like that. So it's just really, yeah, the options available in career progression for me. I think I'm looking forward to most aspects of the change um, in truth. I think uh, it should give us hopefully more time to do things and I think that's that's possibly the most important part of this for I think a lot of people and, and definitely for me is, is less tasks to do overall and more time to do them so I'm really looking forward to that. My only concern will be the initial handover process. Um, I, there are people moving between portfolios, people moving roles. I would say they it would need to be very closely managed um, and the directors really actually need to step up and lead the process and ensure that things are done smoothly. Um, Project Raw is possibly looking at, at refining that list of tasks down and so I do fear some loss of, of variety in that way. The Raw team uh, briefed us on how we should go about the selection and the process and we had a, we had a meeting on that so it was clear there was plenty of time to have discussions with um, you know, family, friends, you know, your boss, your peers. Be open-minded about it, speak to the people that, that are close to you and um, it should go fairly well. I think Project Raw is a great idea because it gets people like myself um, more involved in uh, the bank's business and um, you know we can bring technical knowledge to the job and the front line can tell us more about the relationship side of it so um, we can really work together all the time as opposed to just having the occasional meeting every now and then like we used to. Do I feel like uh, being part of a corporate team or the client services team? Well that's a bit like being asked whether you like mum or dad so, and as you know if that was the question the answer would be both of them. I think it was a very good idea having an orientation program um, so close to go live day um, and it comforted people, I think it definitely comforted people, I think people do need to be coached through these things. I feel that the coaching and the support which is in place has helped me feel more comfortable about the handover process and so I don't feel like I've been put into the deep end rather that I can ask as many questions and if I have any concerns I feel comfortable bringing them up with my executive director and, and the team. I was perhaps expecting that there'd be a day where a lot of things change and that hasn't, that hasn't been the case and that's been, that's been quite nice to see that, that it's been much more relaxed. It was more or less a normal day at the office. Um, I saw a few new requests that I hadn't seen before, um, a few curveballs there but uh, yeah really it was just a normal day. You know, the level of information has been excellent, there's been a lot so people shouldn't feel any um, worries about what their new roles will be. And I think you know, everyone would feel fairly confident that they've got the requisite skills as part of the new process to go forward. The biggest change is this, the arrival of the CCS staff and integrating them into, into what we do and that's been a really positive change and I think most of the AMs especially will tell you that. I've noticed though there has been a, a pretty big change within the team dynamics and people are conversing more in, in groups more within the team. As a whole everybody's on board and everybody is starting to work like a larger team as opposed to um, individual teams. People are becoming friends within the team and it's really good to see. I do feel that yeah we, we are starting to feel more and more 
a part of both teams. Different people and different ideas into teams and, and larger teams I think always make a, a bit of a, a difference but some, some fresh blood so to speak and some, some new personalities is always a, I, th I think a really good thing, um, something that's livened um, definitely my team up a little bit. Um, in terms of actual cultural shift I don't, I don't think that there's been a huge one but I don't think that they're necessarily needed to be, perhaps other than the, the team versus individual sort of a, a shift that, that took place. Yeah, the customer feedback has actually taken me by surprise. I, I thought there might have been a little bit more, not pushback, but more query around it. It's actually gone reasonably well. In, in my experience with my customers, I would say there has been a noticeable um, response from them, and it's a positive one. Spending a lot of time training um, my, my buddy, but also Spending a lot of time training means that I'm effectively doing some of those tasks that are meant to be transitioning. So I see that as probably a process that will continue for the next few months at least. Transferring how you do things from your old role to your new role can be a bit difficult. You tend to do things the old method um, and sort of resist the change there. But I think I'm going quite well with that. In my particular role, um, on the, on the relationship management side, a lot more time out with the customers already and I think that's a positive thing and um, you know we've got strong pipelines of deals and it's being able to focus on those, um, that's something that's already changed so there's that time shift I suppose and I guess that's the, the whole point. Less diary notes, less credit memorandums, less um, for, for me specifically uh, and more time focused on maybe possibly bigger picture things if, if that's the way to sum up the change that's happened for me. The outcomes of that workshop were very simple. Um, one of the things that I personally got out of it was to prioritise my to-do list and also not trying to respond to emails the moment they hit my inbox. Apparently we spend on average in the finance industry six hours a week doing things for our clients and that was a real eye-opener for the entire team and we realised you know, how much time is spent um, you know, in, with internal reporting and other such things and how little time is actually spent focusing on the customer which is what our jobs are supposed to be. There's been the, the budding systems, the change champions, there's been the, the workshops, um, the senior leadership communication but I think you need all that to have it done properly. It's been very time consuming but all in all I think a change like a wholesale change like that requires that amount of time. If I could uh, sum it in two words, I would say that pro uh, product role is positive change. Don't sweat the small stuff. I think look at this as a as a as a big change and a change that that's going to bring a lot of opportunities and a lot of benefits. Don't be scared to change. Don't, there's no need to resist anything um, because I think you'll find it's 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 not as big of a um, challenge as you might think, um, and and it's there's a lot of positives in there. I think the best advice is just to not worry about it and let it happen.